So it is a faux mosaic finish. And I'm going to show you how you can get that. So I started with just an ordinary 12 by 12 board. Um, this is just one before I started cutting my own. It's like quarter inch. And I put a base coat of white swan on my board. So that's what I've done so far. And then um, after that, after the white swan, I played a little bit and I put in my clay border. I'm going to show you how to do that. Then I took um, crust and added what I wanted to look like grout. So I wanted it to look like the tiles kind of been chipped away over the years. And so you see some grout and you see sections of tile. Um, and I then um, I wanted my background not to be solid. So I went in with a gravel road wash. So I'm going to show you how to do all of that. But then this is ready to go for the transfer that we're going to put in the middle. And I so I'm going to set that down. And so I'm going to take some of the clay and I'm just rolling it into a strip. And then I'm going to take, this is just um, another brayer that I have. And I'm going to flatten it out. So then I use um, Aileen's Tacky Glue, and I'm just going to flip it over. And I'm not going to do the whole border on this, because you'll get the idea after I do, just do this one piece. So I'm going to put the glue on there, and then I like to get my finger wet and blend it around. So I knew I wanted it to look like a lot of the frame had chipped off. So I'm going to lay this glue side down along that edge. And then so I'm going to take my brayer and I'm just going to flatten it out some more. So that's probably pretty good. Then I took my strip of the mosaic stamp, and I'm just going to lay this right on top. I'm going to take my brayer, and I'm going to run it along. When I did my actual piece I'm doing my project on, I made sure that the width was where I wanted it to be. So my stamp may stick a little bit in there. I would try and play with cornstarch and see what cornstarch does. But look at that impression. Isn't that incredible? I took like, I just use these old hotel keys. And I trimmed along this edge. And sometimes it helps if you wait for the clay to dry a little bit more. And I also sliced it so it was kind of straight. Not perfectly straight. And that's how I started piecing in my frame. You could connect and make a whole frame. You know, I knew I didn't want to do that. I wanted it to tell more of a story, more old world. When I got a couple of pieces on there, I took my crust and I used just like one a, a cheap stencil brush and I took some of the crust out and then I just placed it where I wanted it and I just dabbed it in there and that's going to make it look like like grout. I did my first strip here. And you can see it's my first one because I didn't get as, as good of an impression as I wanted, which is fine. But I got smarter and I actually used the brayer like my rolling pin to go over the stamp and then I got a better impression. So I put this piece in and then I made like, you know, like an upside down L then I didn't put any more 
up in that section. And then I did a strip from here to here, and then I went across the bottom and just a little bit more on the bottom. Then I connected everything with the crust. So that's what I've done so far, is I wanna make a wash to go over my clay and to make those highlighted areas pop. That's pretty good. And I just want those raised areas to pop so you can see the texture. Ideally, I would wait till the next day. And I do have white swan as a base coat. So I'm just pulling that off. that off and you can see this is where I really got a really good impression with the mosaic stamp look how pretty that is though I like that it's um giving us the look, obviously, of the mosaic, but like a, like a frame, kind of. So I'm just taking the baby wipe and pulling some of that, more of that off. I'm gonna spray where that crust is because I only want a hint. I only want a hint of the, uh, look at that. Look how cool that is. A hint of the black velvet. I did seal this with Big Top, and I probably will sand this transfer because you, the frame wouldn't be all tattered and torn and then the image be all perfect. So I sealed this probably two hours ago, for sure an hour and a half ago, so it had time to set up. I always seal before I use a transfer. It just cuts down on any chance of the transfer pulling the paint, pulling the paint off my surface and sticking to the transfer. This is one of my favorite transfers. This is IOD's Wallflower. So I just want to make sure that it's on here. So I just want to make sure this, this is burnished really well because I am going to lightly sand it. Keep it in mind that my clay isn't dry yet. So for those of you that just popped on, this was the demo board that I used. So I um, used my brayer like a rolling pin to roll out the clay i glued it onto my board i took the mosaic stamp and i put it on top here and then i used my brayer again like it was a rolling pin so i did i did this over the top of the clay 
and that got a really nice impression in there. So that's what I did for that. So I'm just going to really lightly sand this. Just so that it doesn't look like the frame is all aged and my print is new. So I'm very lightly pressing. I'm going to put that right there. So we're going to put that right there. So I don't want it real intense. So I'm just lightly pressing in areas. I'm not reapplying. That gives it just a just a hint of crackle. That is it. Thank you so much. You guys have.